the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Uh, This morning at Mass, we remember uh, Michael Kivlin. And as we enter into these sacred mysteries, we ask God's forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord God is now my strength. Is it too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel? I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. The response. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, for my youth. On you I depend from birth, and from my mother's womb you are my strength. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. The Lord be with you. This is a reading from the Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled. Amen, amen, I say to you, said Jesus. One of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another and they were at a loss as to what he might have meant. And one of his disciples, the one who Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out just what he meant and who did he mean. And so he leaned back against Jesus and he said, Master, who is it? It's the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it said Jesus. And so 
he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said, what you are going to do, go, do it quickly. Now, none of those reclining at the table realized that what he had said to him. And some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus told him, buy what we need for the feast or give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and he left at once. It was night. Now the Son of Man will be glorified, said Jesus after he left and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, said Jesus, I will be with you only a little while longer. You'll look for me as I told the Jews. I said to them, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say the very same thing to you. Master, said Peter, where are you going? Where I'm going, said Jesus, you can't follow me, though you will follow me later. Master, said Peter, why can I not follow you now? Oh, I will lay my life down for you. You'll lay your life down for me, said Jesus. Amen. Amen, I say to you, Peter, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The first two lines from Isaiah today. That's why the planned redundancy in the lectionary for Holy Week will make sense only to people who do just that. Listen. Amen. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Through the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray that our sacrifice be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family and to those you make partners of these sacred gifts, grant a share of, in their fullness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Jesus, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. 
May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave the blessing, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples. He said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through the world Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and the second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share with each other some sign of that peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go now in peace. Have a great day.